Well, on, on, on the downside, uh, an ayahuasca experience can be a very painful ordeal. It could be an eternity in a, uh, in a, in a hell realm, as it were. Uh, individuals can, you know, be, have very, uh, very painful psychological experience. However, um, there's very limited data on long-term sustained adverse psychological effect from ayahuasca. And some of the more accomplished adepts or uh, practitioners, maestries, leaders of the ayahuasca church will tell you that sometimes it's the most painful psychological uh, experience during an ayahuasca session which can have the greatest positive dividend. In a sense, it becomes informative to individuals and pushes them to look at what they might otherwise not have been willing to look at and force them to make changes in their life which they desperately need to make, which they've been highly resistant to. Now, in terms of serious uh, medical adverse effects, uh, one issue I would have to point out is uh, an observation I've made along with my colleague Jace Calloway, and we published this as a paper in the medical literature about 10 years ago, which is the dangers of interactions between ayahuasca and the SSRI antidepressants. That uh, an individual who was on an SSRI, such as Prozac or Paxil, who takes ayahuasca may experience a serotonin syndrome, which is associated with uh, excessive and pathologically high levels of serotonin in the central nervous system, which causes uh, varying degrees of um, uh, confusion, uh, tremors, um, uh, somnolence, uh, gastrointestinal disturbance. Uh, if the level of serotonin is, is high enough, it could potentially cause uh, seizures and even death, although I have not I've never learned of a, of a fatal outcome of an SSRI ayahuasca interaction. The potential is there, and that's why we've been very proactive in informing uh, individuals and groups that are drawn to the ayahuasca experience that individuals not only need to be off of their, anti, their SSRI antidepressants, but because of the long half-lives of these medications, they need to be off, in the case of Prozac, for five weeks and for the other SSRIs for at least two weeks to ensure that a dangerous adverse reaction will, uh, will not occur. Uh, in regards to deaths under the influence of ayahuasca, I'm only aware of one such case, and this was of a, um, an elderly woman with serious medical problems who, was a, um, uh, who lived in Canada, was uh, a, uh, a First Nation, you know, equivalent to our Native American Indians, this would be a Native Canadian Indian, uh, a, a group uh, in her community had invited two ayahuasqueros uh, from the Shuar people of Colombia to facilitate ayahuasca sessions. And uh, after the third session, this woman was found to have essentially passed away during the experience. Assays, toxicologic assays of her blood uh, found evidence uh, not only of the standard alkaloids of uh, ayahuasca, which would be the harmala alkaloids and dimethyltryptamine, but also very high levels of nicotine because the shawar are a native people that adds a variety of plants as admixtures to ayahuasca, including nicotine. So in a sense, this woman died of uh, acute nicotine poisoning. So it wasn't the ayahuasca per se, but it was the degree to which the ayahuasca had augmented the uh, physiologic nicotine effect.